This is the biggest difference between Yaido and Kendo. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. I have been a katana trainee for about five years now. But when I say I train how to use the katana, there are many people who tell me, Oh, so you train in Kendo? No, I don't train in Kendo, but I train in Yaido. They are the two sword related martial arts in Japan, but they are completely different. But how are they different, really? So today, as a Yaido trainee, I will briefly explain about the history of Yaido and Kendo, and then finally introduce the three main differences between them. I have never trained Kendo before, so I have received advice from my friend who has been training Kendo for 25 years. So let's go to First, let me briefly introduce the history of Yaido by breaking it into three points. One, the invention of the method of sword drawing. Two, Iai became the main sword skills of the samurais. Three, the survival crisis and Iaido today. One, the invention of the method of sword drawing. It is believed that the origins of Iaido was invented by Hayashizaki Jinsuke about 400 years ago. He separated the technique of the original swordsmanship and sword drawing and concentrated on the technique, specialized only in the method of sword drawing, which soon became Yai. Before the existence of sword drawing techniques, the swordsmanship called Kenjutsu was used on the battlefield. It was meant to fight with a sword already out of its sheath while wearing heavy armor. 2. Iai became the main sword skills of the samurais. However, after the long eras of war, the peaceful Edo period that lasted for 265 years began. The battle style of the samurais changed from always having the blade drawn as you would on the battlefield to the skills of suddenly drawing the katana from the sheath in emergency situations in daily life. The skills of sword drawing that Hayashizaki Jinsuke has invented suited this new era and was completed as a martial art called Iaijutsu by his apprentices. 3. The Survival Crisis and Iaido Today However, once westernization happened in Japan in the late 19th century, the class system of samurais was abolished and it was forbidden by law to carry around katanas. In 1876, the new Meiji government implemented a sword abolition decree, banning swords held by people other than military personnel and policemen. And after World War II, all individual-owned Japanese swords were seized by GHQ for the purpose of disarming the entire Japanese population. Yai techniques have faced many crises of survival, but in 1954, the All Japan Iaido Federation was established to preserve and inherit the culture. This is when Iaijutsu became Iaido we know of today. Next, let me briefly introduce the history of Kendo by also breaking into three points. One, born as a method of training. Two, integrated and modified by the police. 3. The Survival Crisis and Kendo Today Number 1. Born as a Method of Training Once the peaceful Edo period began, the purpose of training the sword gradually changed from killing others to training a strong heart and mind. The Naganuma Shirozaimo invented a training method using bamboo swords and wearing armor. This suited the peaceful era and it quickly became a common way to train in many other styles of swords. Eventually, it became very popular for samurais to fight with each other, to test their skills using this form of swords, and many games were held. 2. Integrated and modified by the police As I've explained earlier, swordsmanship 
face the crisis of survival due to the westernization of the Meiji Restoration. However, during the last Civil War era in Japan, a group of swordsmen called the Batotai organized by the police played a big role fighting against the last samurai, Sakamori Taigo. <laughs> Sakamori Taigo played a big role in fighting against the last samurai, Saigo Takamori. This helped swordsmanship to be seen as a way to train a strong body and mind, especially among the police. The different styles of swordsmanship was integrated in order to inherit the techniques, and the method of using a bamboo sword and armor to train was modified. Finally, in 1920, it was officially called Kendo as we know today. 3. The Survival Crisis and Kendo Today After World War II, Kendo was completely suppressed by the GHQ-2. But after regaining independence in 1952, the All Japan Kendo Federation was born. Today, as we all know, Kendo is a very famous and popular form of martial arts, trained in many places around the world. So before we move on, let's organize the information a little bit. Yaido and Kendo share the same roots as sword martial arts trained by samurais. But the origins of Kendo was a kind of method for training with bamboo swords and armor. Because Yaido is a sword drawing martial art, it must be trained with a katana. But as I explained earlier, it became more and more difficult for Japanese people to own katanas after the beginning of westernization in 1868 due to the change of the government and laws. Kendo uses bamboo swords to train, so it was a culture easier to inherit and spread. So it means that a method of training became the main way to train the sword itself. It's like playing soccer was forbidden by law somehow, and everyone made a new sport of ball juggling or like basketball was banned, so everyone started to compete by how long they can spin the ball on their fingers. So being good at Iaido doesn't mean you're good at Kendo, and vice versa. Now that you understand the history of Iaido and Kendo, let's finally talk about the three main differences between them. One, the equipments you need to train. Two, the techniques you train. Three, the training population. Number one, the equipments you need to train. The equipments you need to train Iaido are actually quite simple. The Hakama training gear, a belt, and a katana. The katanas you use are not always a real one with a sharp edge. There are katanas called Iaito, which are made from alloy and are blunt. Unless you're a high-ranked trainee, you would use this kind of sword instead to avoid injuries. On the other hand, Kendo needs quite a lot of equipment to train. You first need the Hakama training gear just like in Iaido, but also the armor consisted of four pieces and a bamboo sword. My friend who has been training in Kendo for 25 years told me that the worst part about Kendo is the armor in summer. You obviously can't wash them like regular clothes, so they stink like crazy. Number two, the techniques you train. This is the biggest difference between Iaido and Kendo. In Iaido, you mainly train through fixed sword movements, assuming various situations of battle called kata. If you train in karate, I'm sure you have trained many kata too. So this means you train on your own most of the time, and you would never actually cut someone. There are occasions where you use wooden swords and tag up with someone to check if your sword movements are accurate, but this is quite rare. I've only done it less than five times last year in 2020. So in Iaido matches, you compete by doing some kata together, and the judges will determine who was more accurate and powerful. On the other hand, Kendo is mainly about fighting someone in a game format. You learn the skills to use your sword to hit the opponent's head, hand, body to earn points. It's very close to fencing, 
you would train kata and kendo as well. But again, it's something you wouldn't practice regularly, just like the dual training for yaido. So in some sense, you can say that yaido is more about training your mind, a kind of meditation, whereas kendo is more of a sport using swords. Number three, the training population. The population of Iaido trainees are about 100,000, while Kendo has about 1,800,000. As I explained when I talked about their history, Kendo was adopted by the police organization as a way to train their officers in the time of westernization. So many police officers today train in Kendo too. There are even Kendo competitions just for policemen. And there are many schools that have club teams for kendo training. Many Japanese parents want their children to train in kendo to be physically and mentally stronger. On the other hand, iaido requires a katana to train, which makes it difficult for kids to train in. Many schools prohibit having swords inside their property, so unless it's a university, I've never heard of any Iaido club teams. Also, as I've explained earlier, Iaido is about training mentally, and you don't actually learn the skills to fight off someone. So unless you're a big fan of katanas like me, or cannot or dislike vigorous exercises like other martial arts and sports, you wouldn't train in Iaido. Lastly, today's conclusion. The origins of Yaido can be traced back 400 years ago when Hayashisaki Jinsuke invented the skills of sword drawing. This style of swordsmanship was accepted by the samurais of the peaceful era as Yaijutsu. The roots of Kendo was originally a form of sword training invented by Naganuma Shirozaimon. It used bamboo swords and armor to actually hit each other to fight. This method of training swords was adopted by the police organizations even after the samurais were gone, and prospered greatly. Both Iaido and Kendo faced crises of survival in the time of westernization, but in the 1950s, the federations were established to preserve and inherit the culture. There are three main differences between Iaido and Kendo. Number one, the equipments you need to train. You only need training gear and a katana to train in Yaido, but you also need four pieces of armor and a bamboo sword instead to train in Kendo. Number two, the techniques you train. In Yaido, you mainly train by yourself through kata, while in Kendo, you train to compete with someone by hitting your opponent with your sword. Number three, the training population. The population of Yaido trainees are about 100,000 while Kendo has about 1,800,000. Kendo is still popular among police officers and many children and club teams of school. While Kendo requires a katana and is about training mentally, so it limits the people. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you learned anything new about Iaido or Kendo, please hit the like button to let me know. And my goal is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by January 2022 so your help is what I need. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Dōmo, arigatou gozaimashita. Everyone, once again, thank you very much for watching my video, and welcome to the Omake Talk. I actually have a lot of things I want to talk about today. I have three things I want to talk about. If you have time, I hope you can listen to the end. So first of all, um, I've already actually made a video about this, but I thought I didn't explain enough about the difference between Jutsu and Do. Um, so it's very simple actually. Jutsu means techniques or skills, and Do means path. So the reason why, um, for example, Iai Jutsu changed to Iai Do is because in the path in the, in the past, when they actually used the techniques to kill someone, it was the techniques of Iai, right? But once it became came into the peaceful time like right now, and you don't actually use swords to attack and kill someone, it became Iai Do. So Do means path. So this path 
what we're referring to is like the path of your life, your training. You know, it's a way to train your your like, mentally and physically. And I guess it does reflect the idea of Zen, you know, the virtues of Zen. So that's the difference between Iai Jutsu and Iai Do, Jutsu and Do. So, you know, Jujutsu, Judo, Kenjutsu, Kendo, Kyujutsu, you know, Japanese archery, Kyujutsu, Kudo, have all changed into Do because, you know, the era changed and time changed. So that's my first thing I want to talk about. I hope you can take a look at my video, by the way. And my second thing I want to talk about is what is Iai in the first place, right? You might have thought. I mean, Kendo, you know, Ken is sword in Japanese. So the path of the sword, right? It's very simple. Kudo, Japanese archery, Q means the bow. So the path of the bow, the bow, very easy to understand. What's Iai, right? Why isn't, the, why isn't it the path of the katana, right? Now, it's interesting. This word Iai actually means, well, if I would translate, translated, I would say to be in that moment is what Yai means. So like I explained in the video, um, the techniques changed from Kenjutsu to Iai. And Iai, um, Kenjutsu was about, you know, ha always having the sword drawn and fighting on the battlefield, right? And Iai changed into techniques of emergency, emergency situations in daily life. So Iai means you are in that moment of emergency, so you use your sword, if that makes sense. Now in Kendo, you know when you're fighting, right? The referee will say, fight, and you fight, right? Kind of idea. But in Iaido, the idea is that you will get into a fight any time in your life, that kind of idea. So that's the reason why they don't call it the katana path, they call it the Iai path, Iai Do. I hope I, I hope my um, explanation is clear enough for you to understand. My English sure is really bad. So, <laughs> and one last thing, the third thing I want to talk about is the about the yaito I introduced a little bit. So yaito are the kind of katana that uh, is blunt, made from alloy, and is used for yaito training, right? So that's a kind of katana yaito. And um, there's another kind of, well, fake blunt katana called mozoto in Japanese. Now, um, I want to talk about this because, is because um, I want you to be careful, a lot of people to be careful when they buy katanas like on Amazon or on the internet anywhere. Because if you, what, the katana you bought, like a fake katana, cheap katana that you bought is a mozoto. Mozoto means like a model katana, not a real, you know, just for decoration kind of meaning. If what you bought is a mozoto, you should never try swinging it. And that's because the iaito are made for training iaido, for, for being swung multiple times, obviously. So it's stronger, but mozoto, is not for that sort of training. So the inside of the handle, like the wooden parts, all these small parts are very vulnerable. They would break really easily. So terrible accidents, like you swing the sword, the mozoto, the fake sword, and the blade comes out of the handle and it gets stuck on, you know, your wall, your ceiling. And you know it could it could be a person if if it's the worst worst case scenario, right? So if you really have to be careful, if it's if it's a really cheap katana, it's usually a mozoto. So I would uh, caution you not to swing it. Yes, um, yaitos are a lot lot um, cheaper than a real katana, obviously, but they do cost. Um, I would say at least. $200, the cheapest one will be about $200. So any anything cheaper than that would be uh, just for decoration. So I just want to talk about and introduce the story of the Mozoto as well. All right. I'm so sorry on today's Amaka Talk was so long. I hope you enjoyed it till the end though. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Arigatou gozaimashita. Sore de amata.